Remember, the YouTube ads feed the ducks. <laughs>
coming to do something for you. There's that big black guy over there. We'll try to zoom in here. They're he's gorgeous. I think he's a beautiful looking duck. There's like goslings. Oh, there's another duck. Actually, there's two of them. We've got two of those ducks. Okay, we are just we've got two of those black ducks with the with white wings. There's another one. So we've got two guys like that. Oh, my good my geese, they're getting longer legs. Look at the legs on that one. The Chinese goose. Well, they, well, they have ridiculously long legs as it is, but I forgot to check my little gosling up there. Well, we'll get them. I'm gonna do the water here. We'll go back up and take a look at the uh, yeah the goslings. I don't have a, uh, They're not as big as the ducks yet, but they're getting there. Why are running like fools? Yeah, for no reason. This little stampede across the uh, barn. Like I said in the other video, in yesterday's video, you know, all it takes is a couple for them to uh, start, you know, moving, and then look out, get a stampede. I think it's because they have room. Uh, they just like to run because they can. Now they're all at this end again. They're going back and forth. We only got some the little midget ducks here. We're uh, trying to see. Uh, we got really, really small guys anywhere. There's one other midget duck that yesterday I couldn't find him. So I wanted to put him with the goslings, and I couldn't even find him. He's here somewhere. He's not as small as the one that's with the gosling. The one that's with the gosling is the smallest. Like there's some little guys like right there, but they're not like the midget midgets. That midget duck is, uh... Oh, he's a cute little gosling, too. Look at that. Alright, here's the water for these guys. These are obviously thirsty. Uh, burning through 15 gallons of water in basically 8 hours. 9 hours. Okay, I'm filling the water up here, and I've got Doug on guard duty. Because the ducklings... I've got the door. I just leave the door open here. But the ducklings keep coming out. And uh, I didn't, I wish I had my pivot heads on the first time because Doug was sitting there and they all came out and were like just swarming his bump. Um, <laughs> it was so funny. It's like they, they're, they're not afraid of them at all. Uh, you know, because they're exposed to them so much. They, they, it, was, it was priceless. It was just priceless. And Doug, uh, I've got him guarding the doorway here because I, I didn't realize that I was filling the water up the water up here and uh, I looked around and there were about 20 of them had uh, come on the side and I just leave the gate open here. They're getting more and more adventurous. If I knock this door but I think they'd all come out real quick. They're uh, they're little hellions. They, they want out so bad. As soon as this garden's planted I'm going to uh, work on the pen so that I can open the front of the barn and they can go out. They, uh, they need to get out and run around. See, now Doug's walking away from the door. And, uh, they're coming. But I've noticed that, uh, Doug now is, um, uh, very, I don't know if it's cautious or if he's actually afraid, but he, uh, doesn't want to go into the barn anymore. He stops at the gate. He won't come in. Just look at them. They're working their way out here, the little rug butters. Well, see, one comes out, they all go. Okay, guys, back in. Back in. Come on. No, no. There. Okay, we got good ducklings that are coming out of here. That's what happens. And as soon as one comes out, that's it. They all, uh, that's on the other side of the door here. He's, he's helping me. Back in the uh, yard. Look at this. Oh, oh. Good job, oh, that's so cute how he just smells and doesn't do anything. Alright, guys, coming back is that I gotta keep this gate closed. I can't trust you. Look at that 
and, and the horde. For no reason, like Doug and I are doing nothing. We're just standing here, panic ensues, and bang, you know? Someone gets stampeded. And this is why you have to uh, not crowd them and not rush ducks. And this is also, um, just that right there, that panic and the way they do it in a, you know, that horde mentality is uh, if you had chickens living with these guys, that's the way the chickens start becoming. And um, it, it's, and they do this night and day. Uh, you know, they, they go, they're crazy like this. So if you're, you know, if you're raising ducks and chickens together, be prepared to have your chickens not act like ducks, or not act like chickens, and, uh, and do things like that. One thing about ducks, they have that flock mentality a lot uh, stronger than uh, chickens do. I think it's the mother, the, the mother nature and the instincts. I think that's what it is. I think it's, uh, the, they, it's the fight or flight uh, instinct. Yeah, this, they just, this doorway. Yeah, I, I'm now discovering here when I do water in the morning. And this has only been the second morning that I've left open the gate doing the water, and they're already figured out this is the escape route. Yeah, and I think ducks uh, have that fight or flight uh, instinct in them, and it's, uh, you know, they just, uh, the flight, they just take off, and everybody takes off. Now, there's a cool looking cross weed. He's going to be interesting to see what he looks like. He's uh, probably going to be a black and white duck all through him. I mean, with the yellow, oh, we got, this is uh, a little bit of a crazy show here this morning. We got ducks of, uh, <laughs> they're, these guys have no fear of duck whatsoever. It's so cool. Uh, they're very conditioned to him. It's going to be neat when these guys are, uh, you know, full grown. Uh, they're going to walk all around Doug. Now, I don't know about Doug liking it because this is as far as Doug will go into the, uh, this is as far as Doug will go into the barn now. He won't step into the barn. He stops here and just looks at them. It's very strange how he won't go in there now. They're picking on his feet. <laughs> That's too funny. You gotta be careful in here walking around because uh, you can accidentally step on one. So easy. Oh, we got one that escaped. Doug's, uh... His. He's gotten out here. Now he's lost. That's what he's gonna do. Yeah, I gotta keep this gate closed now. They, uh, they're, uh, they're wasting no time trying to escape them. All right, guys, you gotta get you back, your friend back in. I get this water happening. Oh, dog, dog, don't do that. It's not a toy. No, that would be not good, Doug. He was gonna jump on it. He thinks it's a, a play toy. Oh, Dougie, that was close, hey. The not he, it scattered, it went, it went uh, really fast there, and Doug uh, was gonna jump on it. So it's not a good thing. Gotta have to watch that. All right, guys, I'm gonna put you back in. Let's go. Well, they're, they're fed and I, I can't believe it. Uh, they ain't gone through a uh, lot. They went through last night, a uh, 55 pound bag of feed. Uh, all the feeders were about empty. Uh, it just took a bag to fill them up. So uh, their food consumption is, uh, you know, going, starting to, it's, it's going through the roof. And their uh, water consumption is going through the roof. I'm already planning on making a, uh, an automatic water outside. That uh, you know, it's, it fills up the garden hose, so that I'm not, um, I'm not after after last year uh, dealing with 171 ducks and knowing uh, how much water they can go through. I'm not doing it this year. So as soon as the garden's planted, I'm uh, I put my thing cap on, and uh, the ducks uh, are going to get a, a a water design uh, something. I'm going to come up with some kind of design uh, so that the ducks can have uh, water. 
and I don't have to fill it up. Is it's a pain filling it up? These little guys need to get outside real bad. So if it wasn't for the garden today, I'd be working on the panda and they would be getting outside today. They, they need to get outside and run in the pan real bad. But as I said, today's garden day. So let's go up and take uh, let's go up and take a look at the uh, gosling. <laughs> you know, since I've come out from the house, uh, the ducks have not stopped quacking because my bedroom window uh, overlooks the pen. Like I'm right here at the pen. Anybody that doesn't know my layout here, I'm right here, and that's my bedroom window up top there. So I'm uh, and I see my door wide open. So they don't make any noise. Uh, you know, they're very very quiet now. Uh, for some reason, they're not uh, as boisterous as they were last year. But as soon as I come out of the house, this is the noise. It hasn't stopped. They know uh, it's time to get free. Yes, come on out, ducks. Ducks coming over to uh, check them out. Oh, Dougie, he's so cute. But they, they, you know, there wasn't noise. I got up this morning and actually I thought, oh, if there's no noise outside. I have lost my, my ducks out here. But as soon as I come outside, bang, they start quacking. It's taking a little while here uh, for them to realize the gate's open. I think they're spoiled. They know they're getting out, so they're not, you know, the anticipation of sitting by the gate. Oh, there's Mrs. Wait, let's go. I put a uh, purple leg band on her. So that once the uh, purple wears off, and I raped the attack uh, from the predator. I, I put a, a leg band, I said, on her leg, so that way when the purple's gone, I know it's her. And, you know, coincidentally, the uh, leg band is a purple one, so. She's doing much better. You guys are uh, terrible more than us today. This is Gimp. I don't think she's been on uh, the channel in a while. She's going through a molt right now. Actually, uh, quite a few of the females are going through a molt. Uh, even though egg production seems to be around the 30, 32 eggs a day, uh, a lot of them are looking rough. Like, I'll give you a close shot up here. Uh, you can see the feathers are pretty scruffy. And we have another uh, burst of feathers laying around the yard right now. They seem to be on a mission here. Gonna go dig around my yard, so. And I am uh, going to be putting a gate down at the other end. Uh, I've been looking at it. I'm gonna make a. Um, I'm gonna make sort of a, a funnel that goes into the swamp, so that uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna open this gate at this end anymore. Once I install it, it'll be. Uh, the other end and they're gonna they're gonna have to go to the lake I gotta get them out of the yard here uh, before the, uh, the babies come out because uh, I can't uh, I, I can't have uh, you know 600 ducks 700 800 ducks living in my yard it's uh, they just love to hang around the house and that means lots of duck feces outside the perimeter of the gate of the fence. So it's uh, you can't walk anywhere uh, without taking a chance. There's landmines everywhere. All right, let's go and see the gosling. All right, let's uh, let's take a look at my little rescue gosling. Oh, look at it! It's so small still. I can't believe this thing. We got a little midget duck there just sticking to it. Now it's got to be eaten uh, and drinking here because the food is going down. But it is so small. I wonder how long we're going to have to uh, keep it, uh, you know, in intensive care or what do they call it, a nursery or. It's, uh. Yeah, let's just take a look here. Come on, guy. He's 
so weak. Like, he's definitely a Chinese. I'm 99% sure that's a Chinese, uh, the black belt. But he's just so, uh, like, I hope he's not dying. But then you know, at this this young, they you know they they don't they don't hang on like you know they don't uh, drag out death. You know they die pretty quick when they're this young and this small because they don't have anything left in their bodies to uh, you know just to lay there and die a slow death. So I'm just gonna change this water here, and it's definitely going through water. So, but the little ducklings just sticking to it. The little midget duck. All right, I'm gonna go have my coffee, and I'm gonna go. Uh, well, first, I'm gonna change this guy's water, and then I'm gonna go have a coffee. Hello, everybody. It's uh, it's about 11 o'clock here, and uh, this uh, this humidifier, that the defective one that keeps dying and, and you know setting uh, tripping its uh, reset here. Um, thankfully, I have a second one um, in here because I just came out here and it's stopped working again, and it's it's like not even an inch of water has been evaporated out of it, where the other one. Uh, it's got about three inches of water out of it. So, but we've got another Muscovy um, that has poked its its head through here. I'll give you a shot, and there it is. Look at the little sharp uh, hook on the end of their bill. That's uh, oh, actually that's his foot. So, what is his foot doing sticking out of there? So that's definitely a web foot sticking out. Muscovy coming up backwards. So, that's another one hatching. But, we've got a problem. Uh, my uh, humidifier situation, I've only got one running right now. And the way these things are failing, I can't trust it. So what I'm doing today is I've got to do a really quick, i got to rip this thing out, grab the unit, pull it out, and I'm going to take it right back to the store. Um, like, I bought it last night, uh, the second one. So I'll, uh, I'll just tell them the one I bought last night died and right out of the bat. It was dead out of the box. And These big department stores, they deserve it. Uh, selling garbage like this like you know I mean, I'm telling you the, the days of quality anyways um, now a little bit of bad news here I'm gonna take you over um, I got a bad feeling about the rescued gosling um, I'm gonna give you a shot here um, absolutely get, it's getting weaker it's not getting stronger um, now it's just laying there with its head buried in the, uh, the wood chips and the uh, midget duck keeps you know getting uh, closer and closer to it but it is doing nothing. I just picked it up and then checked it out and I got a really bad feeling here. I'm just trying to get a good shot for you with the lighting so you can see. Like it's, it's, it's having a hard time even holding its head up, which this is so bizarre that, um, you know, you could see or that, you, that it would, you know, drag out like this. Usually, you know, a young duckling like this or, you know, gauzing, something, you know, young, something this young, uh, you know, if they're this weak and they're not uh, getting better, they die pretty quick. You know, they don't hang on. Like, this guy's been going two days now that he's hanging on. And, you know, I, I'm, uh, actually, if this guy passes away, I'm going to be really, really upset because I'm, uh, I have my hope, I, I, you know, I have my hopes up that something, uh, positive, you know, that it, someone's good positive come out of rescuing it, that I was going to have, a, you know, a gosling uh, imprinted to me that uh, would be my pet, and it would be so cool if it was a Chinese one too, and which it's looking like it is, and, uh, you know, have it following me around all the place, uh, between him and Duck, uh, Doug uh, following me around, I would, uh, you know, I'd always have company, but um, I, I don't believe the luck on the, the Duck Adventure. We're having, like, every bit of bad luck you can imagine here, uh, I, I, I'm I lost for words here. I'm, uh, the universe just keeps dealing me bad cards here. I, I don't know what to do or uh, what to even think anymore. Uh, everything I do uh, just keeps, you know, keeps blowing up my face. And I'm so freaking tired, man. I'm going at her hard here to succeed. And I'm uh, like, there's no other ducklings. Yeah, there's nothing else pipping through. It would suck if it's, you know, five ducklings and that's it. Well, I got to do it really quick. I got to rip this thing out really fast, and I got to whip the town um, and do a swap. I just don't believe this. I don't believe this. I, I, you know, I only want to try. I can't trust the other one to, to work and to leave it because, uh, you know, if it dies, 
I'd be, I would be screwed, blued, and tattooed. Anyway, um, I'm off to town with a you know a defective unit. All right, I've just gotten back from town. I got the second. I took it back to the store, and I got I had to go to another store because they had none left, um, and I got another one. So I've got two in there running right now. So hopefully with the cycling, they're not going to burn out or whatever, what was ever going on. I don't know what was going on, but I came back and the uh, Muscovy that was pipping through. Um, I had to uh, the one that was pipping through that when the uh, the uh, humidifier died uh, and had shrink wrapped around the uh, hole. I just picked it around here and I picked the end off the shell, just the end of it off, and it's now just pushing through here. Its head is actually out, but because I just um, opened and closed the door, because I had to put the uh, you know the humidifier and the new one in, we got a little bit of fogging action going on here. But I'm going to try to give you a shot here of uh, oh, there he is. Uh, it's so far up we can't get a shot. It's really uh, there he is. There's his head. So I just took the end of the shell off so he could get his head out because he's been struggling all morning. Uh, because of the, the you know the humidifier dying there, uh, you know the humidity dropped off and it shrink wrapped around the board, a little opening that he had made. So I got the end off the uh, the egg and he's uh, popped his head out. And his actually one foot's coming out right now. Uh, it's, it's, it's fucking up here because like I said, I just opened the door. So when you open the door and you drop it down, you know the humidity actually goes up when the temperature goes down. So it fogs up the window really really bad. So I don't believe this. So this is now our th my third humidifier. So uh, we'll see what's going on. We'll see how it goes later on today. Well, people, it's a it's a sad day here. Um, I had a hunch, you know, that that Gosling was getting weak, and I just checked. I, mean, I put the lid back down here because I'm not gonna play any games with you. I already checked, and uh, it just died. So this is um I I you know I thought for sure, but you know the way poor thing. And it just died too. It's not even, it doesn't even have rigor yet. Oh man, I don't believe this. I, th you know, uh, I'm surprised that that little gosling hung on that long. That's uh, because you know, when they're this young, um, normally they don't hang on that long. So, anyways, and the Muscovy hatch so far is not that well, it, not that good. It's looking like uh, we got five ducklings so far. Um, no, no pipping action. We'll see what later on today happens, but uh, oh, I, I don't believe it. I'm uh, just a kick in the head, man. I, I'm telling you, Mother Nature, just not cooperating.